The cruising altitude of an airplane. Estimate the cruising altitude of an airplane during a transatlantic flight. If you are a passenger in the plane when it is at this altitude, what is the percentage change in the gravitational energy of the system of you and the Earth compared to when you were in the airport waiting to board the plane? For which of your two locations is the gravitational potential energy greater? We can use the power series 1 plus x parentheses to the power n. Okay, so we know that if you were ever on this transatlantic plane, you will see that the approximate cruising altitude for this flight is about 10,000 meters. So this is the approximate cruising altitude. All right. And we know that this gravitational force is a conservative force, so it is derivable from a potential energy. That's why we talk about this gravitational potential energy. So if I write this, gravitational force is minus the gradient of a potential energy, which is uh, depending on the radial distance r. So the, poten the gravitational force between the Earth and the person with mass capital M is G mass of the earth M divided by the radial distance R squared. This is equal to minus du dr. And therefore, we can calculate the potential energy delta U to be minus gravitational constant G mass of the earth M integral from a uh, location r to infinity, which is our reference point, dr prime over r squared. So this gives us uh, the integral of 1 over r squared is minus 1 over r. So the minus signs cancel. We have g mass of the earth, mass of the person, divided by r, uh, this is r prime, the dummy variable, which is evaluated between r prime equals r to infinity. At infinity, this is 0, and at r, it is g mass of the earth m divided by r. So we know that the potential energy at r equals infinity is taken to be zero, that's our reference point, and potential energy as a function of r is minus gravitational constant mass of the earth, mass of the person, divided by the radial distance between them. Now we're comparing the potential energy at the location r equals radius of the earth plus h, which is our cruising altitude, uh, to that of the potential energy at the surface of the Earth, that is at the airport, R equals RE. So at R equals RE plus H, we have minus G, uh, mass of the Earth, mass of the person, divided by RE plus H, and then uh, potential energy at the surface of the Earth, a reciprocal, this is going to be uh, minus Re divided by uh, G mass of the earth, mass of the person. So these minus signs will cancel. Uh, G M products will cancel. And I will find that this is radius of the earth times radius of the earth plus H to the power minus 1. Uh, this can be written also as radius of the earth times, I take this into the radius of the earth parentheses, radius of the earth to the power minus 1, 1 plus h divided by radius of the earth to the power minus 1. So uh, this product basically just gives me a 1 here. Now, I look at the radius of the Earth. The radius of the Earth is 
roughly 6,370 kilometers. The age value is roughly 10 kilometers, the cruising altitude. So I see that H is really much less than the radius of the Earth. So if you have a situation where 1 plus x parentheses to the power n is uh, expressed when x is much less than 1, this is approximately, using the Taylor series expansion, 1 plus an x. This is the mathematical result we were uh, basically suggested to use the power series plus for 1 plus x to the power n. So the ratio becomes the potential energy at Re plus h uh, to the potential energy at the surface of the earth is approximately 1 minus h over radius of the earth okay and so we see that delta u um, so let's take this a little bit upstairs here um, so we see that delta u over u the change in potential energy divided by the potential energy will be uh, 1 minus h divided by radius of the earth times u that it, where u is the value at the surface of the earth is u r e plus h uh, minus u at the surface of the earth and this is uh, divided by u to find the fractional change here these u's will cancel and we will see that this is 1 minus h over re minus 1 so this is minus h divided by re all right so we find that the percentage change in delta u divided by u on the radius of the earth at the surface is minus h over re multiplied by 100. So this will be the percentage change. Uh, so for this case, the percentage change in the potential energy uh, in reference to the potential energy on the surface of the Earth is minus 10 kilometers divided by 6,370 kilometers multiplied by 100. This gives me roughly minus 0 0.1 six all right so what does that tell me the magnitude of the potential energy decreases 0 0.16 percent uh, when at the cruising altitude okay but uh, it's the magnitude that is decreasing by 0 0.16 percent but since it becomes less negative, the maximum potential energy is zero at r equals infinity, the potential energy is actually greater at the cruising altitude. So remember that the maximum value of potential energy is zero. So if it decreases in magnitude by 0.16%, because it's a negative quantity, uh, it's basically becoming more positive so it's actually greater at the cruising altitude. All right, so we talked about uh, estimation of the uh, percentage change in the gravitational potential energy uh, when we have uh, 
the two situations, cruising at an altitude of roughly 10 kilometers for a transatlantic flight as compared to the gravitational energy at the airport. Okay, so then we were asked to find uh, the percentage change in the gravitational energy compared to the airport and uh, to determine which one has the greater potential energy. So since the gravitational force is a conservative force, looking at the theory of this, this is derivable from a potential energy minus gradient of a potential energy, which is a function of radial distance r, which gives us the result that the potential energy reference at r equals infinity is equal to zero. If this is taken as the reference, then the potential energy at r is uh, minus g uh, mem over r. So it's a negative quantity. Okay, at infinity it is zero. Uh, that's the greatest possible potential energy. So if I look at the potential energy at the cruising altitude at a radial distance Re plus h from the center of the Earth to the uh, R equals Re, the airport case, I see that this is Re times Re plus h to the power minus one, where R e plus h can be taken into R e parenthesis. This becomes 1 plus h over R e. And because of minus 1, it comes out as R e to the power minus 1. These cancel. And this is approximately 1 plus uh, minus 1 times h over R e because of this power series. And uh, we, we check that h is really much less than the radius of the Earth. So this holds. And then the percentage change in the potential energy, delta u, potential energy at the cruising altitude minus the potential energy on the surface of the Earth divided by the potential energy on the surface of the Earth. This is what I'm calling u here. Um, we see that this is minus h over re. So if you wish... I could say that this is a potential energy on the surface of the Earth, UE. So these will cancel. Uh, so substituting the numbers here, uh, 10 kilometers divided by 6,370 multiplied by 100. This is a minus 0.16% change in the potential energy. The magnitude of the potential energy decreases by 0.16% at the cruising altitude, but since, since it becomes less negative, the maximum potential energy is zero at r equals infinity, the potential energy is greater at the cruising altitude. As we go far away from the center of the Earth, the potential energy keeps increasing. This is an attractive force, and as a result of that, uh, we see that the potential energy must be maximum at r equals infinity. Uh, and as we bring the uh, object closer to the center of the Earth, the potential energy decreases.